Okay, I'm back with Brian from The Bike The Body. He gave us some fabulous workouts without any gym equipment in a previous video, but today I'm back to find out Brian's favorite workouts to do for the bike with gym equipment next time you're at the gym and wondering what to do. So Brian, thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. So why is it so important to use gym equipment in your off-the-bike routine? What is the value of it? Well, well, doing any strength training off the bike is really helpful in my opinion. And being able to add in some extra weight is a great way to start to build up and add that progression so you can push your strength a little bit further once you've actually sort of acclimatized to doing some regular training. Brilliant. And I've got to admit, I was pretty tired when I last saw you. So <laughs> I'm interested to see what you've got in store for us today. So should we get cracking? Yeah, we've got a great workout lined out for you today. The key thing to remember is this sort of workout needs to be done over an eight week period to build up strength and also probably about twice a week. So let's get to it. For our goblet squat, we want to set up with our feet at shoulders width. We've got a light weight to start with because it's going to involve a shoulder movement as well. So about five kilos is a good starting point. We want to sit back towards the bench, keeping our weight on our heels. And as we do so, press the weight out in front and standing up, bringing the weight back to your chest. The rear foot elevated split squat is a great way to start to challenge single leg, work on imbalances and build up strength through glutes, hamstrings and quads. So we want to work again on three sets of 8 to 12 for this exercise. The Romanian deadlift is a fantastic way to build up posterior chain strength and mobility. And for this exercise, we're gonna add in a row movement as well to get a little bit of upper body challenge in there as well. We're gonna to work towards two sets of eight to 12 on each side. So we wanna take a weight, about 10% of your body weight works pretty well. So we've got 10 kilos here for Connor. We wanna stand with feet at shoulders width apart and we're gonna hinge from the hips, okay? So a slight break of the knees is okay. The arm is relaxed by your side. Then pull the weight back into a row lowering down and then pulling back up into a straight position. So again, that's a hinge from the hips. So trying to keep the back straight for this exercise. Slight bend at the knees if you need to, row, and then pulling back up straight through glutes and hamstrings. This standing hip flexor and abduction drill is a great way to combine two really important muscle groups. So we're gonna get the hip flexors at the front and the hip abductors at the side, so the glute med muscle. We're gonna work on two sets of eight to 12 in both movements on both sides. So for our hip abduction, hip flexor drill, we're gonna use one of these mini bands. We're gonna place it around your feet. Get up on top of a step, just helps with foot clearance. You can use a wall for stability if you need to, and we're gonna kick one leg out to the side, and then we're gonna drive up in front for our hip flexors. So we wanna work on kicking that leg out and behind you to get the glutes to work, and then sweeping through, driving up, getting your hip flexors to sweep that leg upwards, smooth down and kicking out and back. Trying to keep that lower abdominal core and obliques working to support that position. So you're staying nice and stable on that standing leg. The BOSU press up is a variation on a classic and what it adds in is a great bit of rotational challenge which is vital for developing that stability and anti-rotation strength that cyclists benefit from. Three sets of eight to 12 is what we're gonna aim for. So what we want to make sure again is that we keep the shoulders nice and stable and we keep a nice straight line from the shoulders down to the feet as we lower ourselves down to the BOSU, press away. The challenge here is to try and keep the surface of the BOSU flat, so not having it wobbling from side to side. So you're keeping even pressure through and that's great for anti-rotation strength and stability in the upper body. The Swiss ball rollout is a really great exercise to challenge the abdominals and core while also working on shoulder stability and mobility. So we wanna work on three sets of eight to 12 with good control for this exercise. So in a kneeling position, we're gonna have a Swiss ball in front. We're gonna place our hands onto it, keeping your hips nice and straight, slowly lean your weight onto the ball as you roll it away from you. You start to feel the load coming onto your lats and your abdominals. You really wanna make sure that you keep your abdominals working hard through this exercise so you don't feel it into your lower back. That's it, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, and then pulling back inwards. So you should feel your shoulders and lats and triceps working as well with your core. That's it, pulling back through. 
Whew. Okay, so those are some exercises you can do next time you're at the gym. It's an area we often neglect in cycling, but it is just so good for improving your all-round cycling, making more effective, efficient, and more powerful when you're next out on the road. If you did give these exercises a go, please let us know in the comment section how you got on with them. And I hope you're feeling it just as much as I am. Maybe a few days to recover from that. Whew. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you on the next video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tell me you've got that. <laughs> Did you get that?